See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. What a beautiful Monday morning as we gather around this altar, thanking God for his many blessings in our lives and those around us. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants changed their minds about them. They exclaimed, what have we done? Why, we have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers, 600 first-class chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt, with warriors on them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel, even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them. Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots, and charioteers caught up with them as they lay in camp by the sea at Piha Hirath in front of Baal Zephon. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw the Egyptians were on the march in pursuit of them. In great fear, they cried out to the Lord. And they complained to Moses, were there no burial places in Egypt that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert? Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this is in Egypt when we said, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. Far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, fear not, stand your ground and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward and you lift up your staff and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the children of Israel may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let, Let us sing, sing to the Lord, Lord. he has He's covered God. himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. 
My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The flood waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale, Three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. Three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there's something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is really one of those days where our first reading, as well as our Gospel, they, they both speak huge passages to all of us in, in just in, in, as, as Catholics. Our first reading speaks of the parting of the Red Sea. Who doesn't want to go to freedom? Who doesn't want to no longer be imprisoned but to experience that freedom? In fact, if you walk through our front doors, there is a parchment of an architectural drawing of this church. And right below was a scripture vo a verse. And it was our trustee, Anne Marie Augustinelli, picked out this verse. And it's from our first reading. All we have to do is listen to the Lord and be still. He'll take care of us. That's what our first reading speaks of. And you are reminded of that every time you walk through our front doors. Our gospel, though, speaks of a sign. I think especially when we lose people in our life, we're looking for a sign. So Thursday, when I celebrated the committal portion or the interment at the cemetery for Bo Clenshaw, it was a sunny day, and there was a gentle breeze with the trees. And I talked about what a beautiful day that, you know, God's showing us that Bo would be okay. I remember being at Holy Cross Cemetery with people, and as I'm praying the prayers, the bells of Our Lady of Victory Basilica would be chiming. And I would know it's that order that God is telling us to that family, that, that God will make sure that they see that loved one through. I thought it in my own families, too. I thought it in my own experiences in life where God has shown me these signs. But what Jesus is saying today is the greatest sign that we have is the Eucharistic sacrifice. We don't need any other signs but that. We don't need signs from the wind blowing or the sun outside. Certainly we want to see them. But when we're in touch with the Eucharist and we're in touch with Jesus laying down his life for us, that's the greatest sign of them all. That's what we see in our gospel. But we need these signs because of the size of who we are. We're such a speck in the universe. 
And God lovingly gives us these signs. As they talk to Romeo, he answers our prayers, right? When, when we ask him those prayers. If we think of Oscar and surgery, he was there in thanksgiving to you, you know, to make sure that he answered the prayers that we asked. And we think of all the blessings of the Santiano family. And for all of us gathered here, God has shown us so many ways of signs, so many ways in which we've been trapped. And he offers us that freedom. But just as that verse says, as you walk through our front doors, that's in today's reading, all we need to do is we need to be still. Because God is always around us. We don't have to worry about things. If we trust in him, he will see us through. So today as we enter into the Eucharistic sacrifice, that's about the greatest sign that you can have. And as Christ comes to you in communion, may you know that you connect to another world, to a heavenly banquet table. And God is the author of all life, who shows us signs every time and every day in our life. And today as you begin the day and go outside and, and go about your regular everyday activities, look for signs of God in your everyday experiences today, and you most certainly will find a lot of signs. Please rise now for the intercessions. Recognizing God's supreme power, we bring our needs before him, trusting in his goodness and his loving signs, as well as in his providence. For all the faithful throughout the world, for all of us, as we begin this new day, may the Lord continue to bless us with courage and charity in proclaiming the truth of the gospel by the way we live our lives. And also may we come to a deeper awareness of the signs of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders, for ways in which we're leaders in our families, our communities, may God bless our work to protect the dignity and the sanctity of all life around us and entrust it to us in our relationships. We pray to the Lord. For all those whose burden seems overwhelming or insurmountable, we pray for our parasyclist, all those in need of our prayers. We pray for all those loved ones in hospitals and nursing homes and rehab centers. We pray for all the ways in which we need God's healing grace. May the God of all mercies and consolations comfort us and bring us relief. We pray to the Lord. For all the families of our faith community of St. John the 23rd, may God bless their sacred bonds and strengthen their love for one another. And let us all just be an imitation of Christ in the way we live our life today. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, we pray in a special way for all the people that have gone before us in our families, all of our loved ones, all those that we care about. And as we receive this sign from the banquet table and we celebrate the real presence of our Lord in the Eucharist, may we connect with that next world and may we see our loved ones again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Mass intention today, it's in thanksgiving to the Santiano family for all the ways that God has shown those signs, worked those wonders, given those healing graces, and led the Santiano family to freedom. We pray for that um, as our Mass intention this day. We pray to the Lord. And for the prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts. We make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God, our Father, your providential care extends to all creation, and you know our every need. Grant these petitions through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and having filled her with life by the power of your Spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as a sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God who love the human race and to always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Fathers, we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ, 
that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, bearing communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.